Hello guys, my name is Lenny, and today we're playing a little game called Disco Elysium. Uh, it was released back in October of 2019 to a lot of good reviews. Basically, it's an RPG where you play as a detective, but apparently from what, from what I've heard, it's, it's a very unique game. I don't think there's any combat in the game, at least not in the traditional sense. Uh, it's mostly story driven. I never got around to playing it before, so I'm going in completely blind, and I'm happy to be playing it for you guys for the first time. I'm going to try not to talk during any of the cutscenes or any of the story moments or anything like that, just so that you guys can enjoy the story a little more. But with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so this is kind of like the uh, character creation, I'm guessing. So you got three archetypes. You got the thinker who's extremely intelligent, but very bad with people. You have the sensitive one, it's very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind, so I'm guessing he's like the crazy one. And you got physical, he's ex extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Well, dumb as a rock, sounds like me. But we're just going to create our own. I want to make my own detective. Okay, so adjust abilities. So we got intellect, raw brain power, how smart you are. You got psyche, which is uh, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. You got physique, which is like your muscles, and how strong you are. And you got motorix, which is your senses. Okay, so I have to ask myself, what kind of detective do I want? I think I want a, I want a smart detective. I want a smart and strong detective, like, uh, like, uh, like John Kimball. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm gonna revert all this. Okay, so let's see. Uh... Alright, let's go with five. Let's go with five and in intellect. Psyche. Sensitivity. How emotionally intelligent you are. I'm not sure what that means. I'm just gonna keep that at one. For now. Physique. Right, let's go with, uh... Let's go with three. Motorix. Senses. Uh, I want to be agile too. Alright, let's go with three. Let's go with three also. I think it looks good. Yeah, let's try that. Why not? Okay, set skill. So these are all the skills. Skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Hmm. So from the looks of it, I'm guessing for each point that you have into each category, you can uh, you can increase those those skills in that category. So let's see what we got here. We got logic. Logic. Wield raw intellectual power. Okay. Encyclopedia. Call upon all your knowledge. Oh, here we go. Practice the art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. So I want a persuasive detective. I want to make Cole Phelps from L.A. Noir. I think I might go with that. Okay. Let me just see what these are. Drama. So good at lying or acting. 
Conceptualization, understand creativity, see art in the world, visual calculus, reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics, work for the law. All right, I'm gonna go with persuasion. All right, looks good. Why not? than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never ever. Never ever ever? Never ever ever, baby. <laughs> okay, simply keep on non-existing. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. That's great. Yes, it is. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why would you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Could have been carried away, did we, Chef? So I... I think... This is like... These are like different parts of his body talking to him. Because he got the ancient reptilian brain and the limbic system. It's like he's, uh, I don't know, looking into himself, I'm guessing. Uh, wait. Tell me what's waiting for me. There's this giant ball there in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. Is that a 2001 Space Odyssey reference? How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. He's talking about Earth? How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. Alright. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other Reva Lapes in the face. Or you lose. Sounds reasonable. Alright, that sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Oh, I'm feeling a sensation, all right. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscious sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Like some Bee Gees? Alright. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Okay, so he's a drunk? Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, 
trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Wow, homie's a mess. Uh... Alright, well, first order of business, throw those pants on. It's the, uh... Most important part of the day. What is this? Perception hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Alright, fish them out. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. My uh, front door keys, I'm guessing. Don't want to lose that. Let's see what this is. tab to highlight. Okay, cool. So it highlights all the stuff that you can interact with. Let's go to the bathroom. Take a bath, dude. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. Okay, so he's an alcoholic. Kind of like my friend Terry, but we won't talk about him right now. What's this? Shirt. Okay, plus one conceptualization. Minus one suggestion. Okay. White satin shirt. Very nice. What is this now? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink in a fierce discharge of masculine energy someone has ripped half the faucet off it was probably you dude <laughs> was this not the same elan that founds empires and lays waste to cities virile uncaring towards the little things probably not no so that's my logic so um so does that mean I have 11 logic? I don't know. How water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just a vague impression of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. Alright, wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror, Yeah, make sure there's nothing wrong with your face. It's probably important. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. Alright, well, what's wrong? What's wrong with this face? Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Well, that's like your issue, man. At least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. All right, now touch your nose. Sorry. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it, and it doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At first I thought he was like drinking beer through his nose. I'm starting to think that's kinda it's kinda weird. Okay, so he's getting a it's absorbing the smell of alcohol, I'm guessing. Okay, wipe the mirror now. Oh Behold 
You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly a rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Dude looks like he's up to something. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Yeah, that's a face you make towards the ladies. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies, whatever happens. Uh, I can't promise you anything, but I promise. All right, what is this? You liar, you can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead, try something. All right, so what is this? Okay, so it's like a, it's those uh, types of RPGs where it's like a chance-based thing. And my odds are not good. Uh, dig deep in your mind to locate the source of the expression. Okay, so my skills factor into that. Okay, so Snake Eyes always loses and two sixes always wins. Okay, so it's kind of like a. It kind of reminds me of like Dungeons and Dragons a little bit. I mean, I never played Dungeons and Dragons before, but the whole dice thing, it's kind of. It's kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna let the mirror be for now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave my face alone. Wow, dude looks like he had a really bad night. The disco ass blazer. All right, throw that bad boy on. Okay, so my inventory. Okay. Bullets. Skills. Okay, so you get bonuses from items, all right. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it just to be safe. Okay. Let's see, what is this? A tape recorder? Let's go and check that out. This real to real tape player is still on, rolling empty. What is this? Empty cassette case. What is that? Worth 50 cents? Alright, well, 50 cents is 50 cents. I'll take it. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Well, I wonder who did that. <laughs> what if I just go out wearing one shoe just for the rest of the game? Okay, so we've got one shoe. Where the hell is the other shoe? see it. Does my dude only have one shoe? What's this? Looks like it's tie. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Um... 
grab the tie. I don't know. Those odds don't look good. Next thing you know, the ceiling is collapsing. Uh, pull on the wiper off. Try pulling on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Okay. Oh, it's a lot better. Plus three fan is turned off. Alright, grab that tie. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Cool. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns that not reminds you of a noose. It's pretty dark, man. Let's try playing on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. So dude's having a crazy ass hangover right now. Um, okay, pull again to turn the lights off. Yeah, I don't want photons burning a hole in my brain. The lights are off. Okay, pull on the light bulb. Okay, turn it off. Okay, leave. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to go back in here. I need to find my other shoe. I can't go out of the... I can't go out into the public with one shoe. That's... It's crazy. I like this dude's setup. Does he really only have one shoe? Am I missing something? I guess he only has one shoe, alright. Let's let's leave. I have a feeling people aren't gonna like that. The calendar says it's March, the year of fifty one. Okay, so I'm guessing it's uh March of nineteen fifty one. Let's, uh, let's talk to her. Hello, officer. Hello. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you sure about that? You're shitting me! <laughs> Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days, on official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Oh, I know that. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Oh, God. Well, what did she hear? Did she hear me singing Runaway Train in my room, alone? Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. So I think the dude has amnesia. That or he just, I don't know, he's really drunk still and he doesn't know where the hell he is or who he is. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. Uh, ooh. I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a Kupri Kanima is. How I know what one sounds like. She nods. 
but I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? She takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. Well, damn. Has a body been hanging in the back for a week? That's not good. And why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. Oh, I am lost. And drunk. Okay, I should get going now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Say it, don't spray it. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. What is that? That looks like something out of the, uh, those scary storybooks. From, like, <laughs> from, like, the late 90s, or like, the early 2000s. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. What if I don't want to ask questions? You're a cop, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. It is unnatural of you not to want to ask questions. Wait, I have some questions before you go. Yes? What do these people have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough, at least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Where exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. Okay. No, where are we? What galaxy is this? We are in Revachal. <laughs> At first I thought that said we are in Ravenholm from, <laughs> from Half-Life 2. Revachal is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Alright. Should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Revachal. Revachal parties, man. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Orange, another part of the world. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Oh, please, God. There was the usual ruckus. She shrugs. Loud disco music. All right. Blasting some Bee Gees. Okay. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She nods toward room number three. Loud disco music? Oh yes, various artists. Ostentatious orchestrations, prime among them. She raised an eyebrow, waiting for the name to connect with you. Ostentatious orchestrations. My favorite. Oh, that. Yeah. Whew. The less said about ostentatious orchestrations, the better. They were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, she sings, but we go on. Alright. Who said disco's dead? In that case, doesn't life get hard because we go on? Well, it mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? Very true. It would appear so. At around 2 o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. Alright, well, what happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music, on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you're yelling along to it. Was I singing this? Show her the empty case of the smallest church in St. 
Saint I am gonna say that. Oh, cool. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that, and also... What else? That it doesn't matter anymore, and that we are alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Well, you don't have to be rude. When you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way? Like a wild beast? Yes, it was very cool. Well, now I can't tell if she's being sarcastic. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or really means it. Then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Yep, sounds like me. Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. Fair enough. Was I assaulting myself? A window was smashed, the tape player probably, the song stopped, and furniture too. A real destructathon. There was screaming, then I think you passed out. Uh... <laughs> it prides me to hear this. Tell me there was more. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Oh, I bet. What can I say? I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. She nods. And that was it. Alright. Well, that was extremely awkward. I'm just gonna go. Glad to have been of assistance. What a strange conversation. <laughs> Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Wow. Wasting cigarettes. Not cool. Let's do some exploring. The quest to find my right shoe. There's something on the table. Is it my shoe? Oh, 40 cents. Nice. Uh... Alright. Let's go outside. Let's zoom out of here. Oh, dang. Yeah, right off the bat, like, the, uh, the art direction in this game is really unique. I remember that was one of the things I heard, uh, about this game, was its unique art style. And actually playing it, I'm, like, pretty blown away. It's a really cool looking game. I can see how it can, like, hook people. Alright, let's see what he's thinking. A gust of briny wind washes over you. That's just that Ravichal air. Oh shit, there's something over there. Hold on guys, I gotta go back, sorry. There's something over there. It's probably just trash. <laughs> but... I ain't gonna take that risk. Could be a million dollars, I don't know. Oh, it's my right shoe! Nice! I got two shoes like a normal person. Two feet, two shoes, makes sense. Alright, let's go... Let's go explore more of this, uh... This hostel. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trump Le Monde. Uh... 
Nothing on the front page. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Oh, what is this? There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Yeah, dude's got a fashion sense. What is that? Like two baby crocodiles. Wait, these do not look like normal cop shoes. Because you're not a normal cop. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Well, of course. How do they fit? Good, they're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right about you right now, truth be told. There's nothing there's nothing better than having two shoes. Let's go downstairs. Let's see what's going on here. This place looks welcoming. That's a good stopping point for today. Um, very interesting game so far. Uh, it's very story driven. And uh, I like those type of games. Um, you know, it doesn't always have to be Call of Duty. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will have more Disco Elysium for you very soon. Have a good one, guys.